Hey guys, what's happening? Okay, so yesterday I made a video and the, the front of the video was uh, a pumpkin, about me carving a pumpkin, okay? Um, I took that video down. I took it down because I thought it was absolutely 100% far too cheesy, you know? Guys, I can be as serious as they get or I can be as goofy as they get too. But that video was just kind of over the top and it was a little bit too much for me. When I watched it the next day, I just... I couldn't have it up there. I don't kind of want to be known for being like that cheesy. You know, it's it's good to have a good time, enjoy what you're doing, but it was just too much for me and I think maybe it was a bit too much for you. And there's another reason I took it down too. Because I was being so cheesy in the video, I'm trying to make a silly Halloween thing. I talked about someone's injury too, okay? And you guys, I'm going to go over this injury thing, what happened to Mark again in this video. So if you've already watched the video, I'm sorry that I'm doing it again. But I think this is more appropriate for um, somebody's injury. The guy's name's Mark DeBlock, okay? He lives in uh, the States. Ah, God, I forget where he's from. But Mark, I forget where you're from. But Mark had a serious injury using a grinder and using one of these things. Pete, my buddy Pete, happened to have this laying around. He hasn't used it. It was brand new. It was still in the pack. You guys can see this is one of those chainsaw discs, okay? <clears throat> this is what happened to Mark. He was, he had it on, these, these go on grinders, guys. Oh, it's falling apart now, but, okay, well, whatever. You see what it is, okay? He was trying to, he had it on his grinder. Those things go on grinders, and he was trying to cut into the wood. He didn't, ha he didn't use it before, so as soon as he hit the wood, the thing bounced off the wood and cut open his leg. I might put a picture on here. It's going to be a graphic picture that I put on here of the fresh wound. So if you have kids watching this video, you might not want to get them to watch when I say I'm going to show the picture, pictures of Mark's, Mark's uh, injury. I have uh, permission from Mark to post the pictures. Guys, um, it's a pretty bad wound. He was in the hospital for three or four days, but I think he can't walk on his leg now. I think he said six weeks. If I'm wrong, Mark, correct me. Because he tore all the muscle. He scraped the bone. Terrible injury, guys. You know... In my opinion, and this is my opinion, these things are not made for grinders, guys. These these things are made for chainsaws. This chain, it's for a chainsaw. When you use your chainsaw, okay, it's got a brake on it. So when it kicks back, the, your hand clicks the brake, the chain stops spinning. On the grinders, except the really expensive ones, high quality ones, they don't have brakes. When you take your hand off that trigger, turn it off, it still spins. So it gouged the hell out of Mark, and it put him out of commission for six weeks. Besides, long, longer than six weeks, and besides all the pain he has to go through, just from trying to have a good time. You guys, in my opinion, do not buy these things. Don't worry, Pete, I'll get it back together for you. This comes in two plates here. But don't use these things, guys. Don't use them. You know, buy the cuts all, you'll see the cuts all discs in the description below, whatever. Or saber tooth discs or whatever that go on grinders. They're aggressive, but they're not that aggressive. And they won't cut your fingers off. So many carvers that I know, I've talked to lots of pro carvers, trying to, like chainsaw carvers, trying to learn experience. And they've told me they do not go near those things. You know, when you're using your Dremel tools, guys, and your little cut saw burrs or whatever burrs you use, if it jumps off the wood lots, like when you're carving, and it bounces off lots, put two hands on your Dremel, clamp your piece of wood down, guys. Because I've had those pieces rip across my finger, rip my whole finger open, rip my whole thumb open, scars all over my hands from those pieces, guys. So if you got soft skin or just whatever, you guys, be safe, okay? For Mark, be safe. I just want to send you the remember to do it, okay? So you guys can see here. And Mark, I hope you're good. You guys can see here, look what I got in. Carbon Fusion shirts came in. And um, here, I'll show you guys. This got some Carbon Fusion shirts there. And I got a couple hoodies. This is the hoodie. I'll show you the front of the hoodie. Oh, and Mark, don't worry. I'm still sending you this weird thing. Oh, jackalope. Jackalope, what did you call it, Pete? I think you called it a jackalope. And then these are zipper hoodies. So you got that front piece too. 
But you guys, I got a tree spring account to open now too, so I've just ordered some for myself just to see what kind of quality they are. So I'm not going to post a link to it yet, but I'm almost at 10,000 subs. Mark, I hope you're good, man, and just keep that injury clean. And um, here comes the pictures for Mark's injury, guys. So if you have kids, you might want to um, not let them watch this part of the video. And uh, there's a few of his carvings on here, too. Can't wait to see you back carving, Mark. See you guys. Here's the Halloween witch. Oh, she looking evil. She's looking really evil. Cranky Jesse, you better watch out. I think she got the evil eye for you. Hey, Jesse! Jesse! Woo, I'm gonna cast a spell on Message from Amber Storms. I'm so sorry to be a huge pain. 